Freshwater fish are the most endangered vertebrate group on the planet. Nearly one quarter of all freshwater fish are threatened with extinction. But why are freshwater fish in such a crisis? Let's take a look at the Iberian Peninsula, isolated from Central Europe by the Pyrenees for millions of years. Most of their freshwater fish species are endemic to the peninsula and found nowhere else. In Portugal, the situation is particularly alarming. One third of its freshwater fish species isn't found anywhere else, not even Spain. Yet two thirds of the native species are facing extinction. Before we dive in, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, who we can't thank enough. Even Portugal's busy capital, Lisbon, accommodates endangered freshwater species. This is the Jamor River, right in the heart of Lisbon. Here you can find three endemic species of the Iberian Peninsula. Estamos aqui no Rio Jamor, que é um rio muito próximo de Lisboa, em Oeiras, e este rio encontra-se bastante gradado. E neste espaço, apesar de não parecer, tem imensa vida. Nós aqui podemos encontrar poucas portuguesas, que são peixes que só existem no nosso país, não existem mais nenhum lado do mundo. Podemos encontrar verde manche, podemos encontrar cargas mediterrâneos, rãs verdes, enguias europeias, entre outros animais também. Firstly, the Boga portuguesa. This species is critically endangered and is found only in a very restricted area in Portugal. It inhabits small streams and prefers fast-flowing waters. This species can reach a maximum of 15 centimeters. The Boga portuguesa spawns in early spring. At this time, they seek shallow waters with gravel or sandy substrates. We found plenty of fry hidden in the filamentous algae and we believe they belong to the critically endangered Boga portuguesa. Another native species found in this river is the South Iberian spined loach. This species is listed as vulnerable and it is widespread throughout Portugal, although less common in Spain. In the northwest of the peninsula, their population is smaller and very fragmented. This species has a worm-shaped body and benthic lifestyle, foraging the riverbeds for detritus and invertebrates. The Jamor River has a large population of these loaches, being a stronghold for the species. Lastly, the Escalo do Sul, an endangered species endemic to the southern region of the Iberian Peninsula. In the Jamor River, it can be found swimming among the Boga Portuguesa, easily distinguishable by its bigger size and shiny silver body. It is closely related to an European fish a lot of you might recognize, the common chub. These three species are declining due to pollution, habitat destruction by weirs, dams, river straightening, and other human-induced changes, as well as the introduction of alien species. While producing this film, we found a species that had not been reported from the Jama River for a long time, the pumpkin seed sunfish. Originally from North America, this invasive species is now widespread throughout the Iberian Peninsula. They are highly territorial during breeding, competing with the native fish for habitat. Here you can see a male building its nest in Portugal by sweeping an oval-shaped clearing in the substrate. The young fish can be seen traveling in large shoals looking for food. They also predate on the native fish's fry. This is particularly alarming for this river, as it is a stronghold for the critically endangered Bulga portuguesa. There are many invasive species threatening the native freshwater fish species in Portugal. Take, for example, the mosquito fish. This is possibly the most abundant freshwater fish on the Iberian Peninsula today. The mosquito fish is closely related to guppies, a popular aquarium fish, though less colorful. 
Originally from North America, it was introduced to many areas of the world to control mosquito-borne diseases by eating the mosquito larvae. However, they pose a threat to native fish and amphibian populations since they prey on their eggs and larvae. They also breed extremely quickly, rapidly outnumbering native fish and dominating aquatic ecosystems. Other invasive species were introduced for sport fishing. The largemouth bass, originally from North America, is found in most river systems on the Iberian Peninsula thanks to its popularity in the sport. It is a predatory species that has massively contributed to the decline of native species through predation. Here you can see a largemouth bass guarding its eggs on a riverbank in Portugal. Other invasive species were introduced by the aquarium trade. This is a chameleon sea clute, known in Portugal and Spain as chanchito. It was the first cichlid to ever be introduced into the aquarium hobby, with reports dating as early as 1895. Its popularity rapidly grew among aquarists because it was a hardy and adaptable fish. The chanchito was able to weather the experimental stages of the aquarium hobby, even enduring cold water. By 1940, it had found its way onto the waterways of the southern Iberian Peninsula. This species has successfully spread throughout all river basins south of Portugal's capital. Here in the Guadiana River, the presence of native plants like the willow moss and the white water crowfoot can deceive you into thinking the situation here is different. However, the state of this river is much like the other rivers of the Iberian Peninsula, full of invasive species. Here, we were able to find the pumpkin seed, the largemouth bass, the mosquito fish, and the chameleon cichlid. The only native fish we managed to film in this segment of the river was the Andalusian barbel, an endemic species that occurs both in Portugal and Spain. Thankfully, the Andalusian barbel isn't endangered, and it is still very abundant. Unfortunately, this is the reality for every river basin in the Iberian Peninsula. The endemic species suffering the most are those with the most limited range. Just north of Lisbon, another endangered species can be found, the Western Ruivaca. Endemic to Portugal and restricted to three small rivers north of Lisbon, it is endangered and in decline. It faces threats such as pollution from farming and untreated sewage, although the situation is improving. It is also threatened by the introduction of the Louisiana crayfish. This highly invasive species can eat the western Ruvaco's eggs, contributing to its decline. Unfortunately, their eradication is nearly impossible. The Louisiana crawfish is also responsible for the decline of native crayfish species due to the virus it carries. The water in the Sizandro River was clouded when we visited, but we were still able to find a few specimens. There have been many efforts to protect this species. Here at Vasco da Gama Aquarium, one of the oldest public aquariums in the world. Their team is busy breeding Western Ruvacos for reintroduction in the wild. They are bred in outside tanks where they are exposed to the seasons and weather to prepare them for their reintroduction. In 2024 alone, the Vasco da Gama Aquarium have already reintroduced 300 Western Ruivacos to the Cisandra River. Our footage shows that they are in fact still present on the river, and we hope their number will rise. The aquarium also has many of the endemic Iberian species on display, 
to raise awareness for the conservation of native freshwater fish. The Vasco da Gama Aquarium is also involved in other breeding and reintroduction programs of endemic species such as the Boga Portuguesa and the Escalo do Sul. The rapid decline of native freshwater fish populations in Portugal is a combined result of habitat destruction caused by weirs, dams and river straightening, along with pollution from agriculture and untreated sewage followed by the introduction of alien fish species and invasive aquatic plants such as the common water hyacinth that deplete the waterways of light and oxygen. Sadly, during the filming of this story, we found far more invasive fish than native or endemic ones. Almost every waterway seems to have been invaded and the removal of these species is nearly impossible. However, with active efforts for reintroduction programs, invasive species control, and the restoration of rivers' natural courses, the future looks more optimistic for Portugal's native fauna. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. My name is Rodrigo. I film, edit, and write these videos. This one really resonates with me as I grew up in Portugal watching these fish, and I always wanted to film them. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, MPB, I was finally able to film this. They were kind enough to send me this camera, the IR platform that sells and buys used camera gear. And if you're looking to upgrade your camera or check my gear out, the link is in the description. I really appreciate it if you check it out. It really helps the channel. And I would like to request some suggestions for new videos, especially in the UK or Europe. So if you have any ideas, leave them down below in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.